This is math with Miss B. Hi, because I'm your teacher. Um, and my name is Miss B. And just in case anybody else on the internet finds these videos, we gotta make it a whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So today we're graphing systems of linear equations, okay? So what you should be doing is taking out a sheet of paper, pretend like you're in class, okay? And doing your little notes. I know some of you are just gonna sit in your bed and stare at my face. You shouldn't do that, because that's not how you learn. Okay, graphing systems of equations. All right, how to graph systems of equations. So this is an example of a system of equations. You have two equations, the purple one and the pink one, okay? And the little fancy notation if you want, if you want. Step one, isolate y. That's always gonna be the steps. Step two, plot the y-intercept. You already know how to graph a line. Three, use the slope to rise or run. This is, we ain't new to this, okay? And then draw the line. Step five is repeat. Do all those same steps with the next equation. So on the same graph, you're gonna have two lines and they're most of the time gonna touch. So let's do example number one. I have two x plus y equals negative four and then I have x plus four y equals 12. Am I recording? Because if I'm not recording, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, great. All right, so first example, we are gonna isolate y, because that's what we wanna do first, minus two x on both sides, minus two x on both sides, okay? After we do that, I'm gonna simplify, and y is already by itself, look at that. Short and sweet, I like it. What is the y-intercept? Tell me, don't just stare at the video, engage with the content, okay? The y-intercept is going to be negative 4. So that's the first thing I'm going to go ahead and put on the graph. Negative 4, yay! Uh, and then the second thing I'm going to look for is my slope. Negative 2. Now it's a whole number. We like our slope to be a fraction. So when the slope is a whole number, how do I make it into a fraction? I put it over 1. Good job! Good job, good job. Okay, so I'm going to start at the y-intercept. I'm gonna go down two, boop, and I'm gonna run over one, boop. And now look at me, I have a line. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my second equation, still on the same problem, okay? So I have the pink equation, which is x plus four y equals 12. I'm gonna isolate y, so I gotta move the x over to the other side, minus x, minus x. And when I simplify, notice y is still not by itself, which is the worst. So I have another step to do. I have to get rid of the 4. So I'm going to divide everything by 4. Divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. Okay, so then I'm going to simplify. And I'm going to get y equals negative 1 over 4x plus 3. Okay, so I'm going to locate my y-intercept first. So... Think through it with me. Don't just wait till the answer pops up. What's going to be the y-intercept? Good. It's going to be 3. And then I'm going to plot 3 on the graph. So on your sheet of paper that you should have out, okay, plot 3 on your little fake graph. Make a little sketch. You know, do a little something, something so you can work. That's how you learn, okay? So there's, there's my y-intercept. Hey, y-intercept. And then I'm going to find my slope. What's the slope without me telling you first? What is it? Okay, good, it's negative one over four. So my rise is negative one, my run is four. So I'm gonna go down one, and I'm gonna run over four. Ta-da! Butamus, butamus, butamus. Now, the, how do you find the solution to a system? What you end up doing is you end up seeing where they touch, where they cross, okay? Where the intersection is. So it's clear those two points meet where that black dot is, you see that? You see that black dot? Okay. And that's going to be the answer to this problem. That black dot is negative 4, comma 4. That's my answer. Yay, me. So I could either ask you for the solution when you would, and you would say negative 4, comma 4, or I would ask you to graph. So the, the picture would actually be your answer. Either one. Numero dos. Two out of six examples. Okay. Uh, x plus 2y equals 8x minus 2y equals negative 4. I'm going to do the purple one first, minus x on both sides, because remember, you want to isolate y. Divide by 2. 
y equals negative 1 half x plus 4. What is the first thing that you should plot on the graph? Yes, it is a y-intercept. Good. So my y-intercept is 4. So I'm going to go and put it at 4. Hey, 4. Okay, so what's the second thing that you should do? Rise over run. Okay, so what is our rise over run? Oh, so nice, so nice, so nice, so nice. Okay, so then I am going to rise over run. Okay, I'm going to go down one space. I'm going to go over two spaces. We're a little off there with the, those dots, but it's, you get the point. Okay, I'm going to draw a line. Yay, lady. Okay. Shoop, the pink equation. I gotta isolate y, so I'm gonna get rid of that x. I'm gonna divide by negative two because I gotta get y completely alone. Uh huh. And now I gotta graph. Try to see if you can graph it on your own. So pause the video, yes, and graph it on your own. Some of y'all didn't do that, but it's okay. All right, so y intercept first, two. Hello? Hello? I'm gonna go up one, run over two. Look, it touches the line perfectly. I already know where my solution is. It's right there, right there. Okay, good, so my solution is gonna be two comma three. So good, good for you. <laughs> um, example number three out of six. Uh, x minus y equals negative 4 and then x minus 2. So we're going to do the purple equation first as usual. I'm going to subtract x. We subtracted x a lot in this uh, these examples. Oh my goodness. Uh, y is still not by itself. This is a common mistake that my students make. If there's a negative in front of the y, I have to divide by negative 1. Why is that out of order? Because <laughs> I was too lazy to fix it probably. <laughs> anyway, um... And then I'm going to go ahead and locate my y-intercept. Boom. I'm going to locate my slope. Boom. Usually you wouldn't put a 1 there, right? It would just be x, and you would know that there's a 1 there, okay, because we're not babies. Um, and it's a whole number, so how do I get a rise and a run? I put it over 1. I kind of rhyme. How do you get a rise and a run? I put it over a one. A rise and a one. Okay, I'm going to stop. Anyway, um, I'm going to rise up one, run over one, and then I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to do the second equation. Now, why did I pick this example? Oh, I'm so glad you asked because look at that equation. X equals negative two. What is that? That is a special line. Remember, you have two types of special lines. You have ahoy and a vux kind of line. Now, horizontal lines are horizontal, zero slope, y equals a number. But this equation is x equals a number. So obviously it has to be a vux, which is vertical line, undefined slope, x equals a number. So I'm going to find negative 2 on the x-axis. I'm going to put another point somewhere so that it's vertical. Not that it's horizontal, vertical. Okay? And then I'm just going to draw a line. Hey, look, those two lines touch. And they, ooh, I should have put that dot a little lower so it looked a little bit better, okay? But here we are. Two comma six. Hey. All right, halfway done. Example three. Now we're going to do example four. Example four out of six. Ooh, I like this example. Why do I like this example? Because Y is already isolated. Look at God. Mm. Okay, so all I have to do is find a y-intercept, find a slope, hey, and go ahead and graph that slope, negative 2 over 1, because when the slope is a whole number, how do you get your rise over 1? Run. You put it over 1. Rise over run. Put it over 1. So negative 2 over 1 is neg down negative 2 over 1. Anyway, I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to do the next equation. You should do this one all by yourself. Pause the video. Finish the rest of the problem without me, please. This is me waiting. Okay, let's see how you did. My y 
Niners that. Hey. Hey. Up four. Over one. Boop. They cross right there. Negative one, comma, negative two. Did you get that? Yay! <laughs> All right, example five out of six. So example five and example six are special case scenarios. So special case scenarios are either when you get infinitely many solutions or you get no solution. So what does that look like, Miss B? I'm so glad you asked. Okay, so y equals negative two x minus one. Uh, already isolated. I love it when it's already isolated. That's so nice. So I'm just going to find a y-intercept. Hey. Um, find my slope. Hey. Negative 2 over 1. And then draw that line. Boop. Going to do the pink equation now. Three, negative 3y three equals 6x plus 3. I got to get rid of the negative 3 in front of the y. So I got to divide. Hey, what do you notice about the y-intercept of the purple and the pink? They're the same. That's a little sus. What about the slope? Oh my goodness. It's the same with the purple and the pink. So what does that mean? It means those lines are actually going to be the same. So when I draw the pink line... It's going to land right over the purple line. And that means they cross everywhere. Because remember, the solution to a system is where they touch. These two lines touch everywhere. They're real close. Okay? That means it's going to be infinitely many solutions. Too many solutions. Okay? All right. Slide number six. Um... Actually, no. So I have my purple equation. Ooh, it's spun this time. I need to isolate y because I always have to do that. It's exhausting, but here we are, okay? Negative 2y equals negative x minus 8. I'm going to divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2 y equals one half x plus four negative over negative creates a positive yay y intercept four let us graph slope one half rise up one run over two hey now draw that line hey 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 okay Pink example, negative 6 minus 2y equals negative x. Plus 6, plus 6, because usually that constant is already on the other side of the equation, but either way, I, it, it got to go. So plus 6, negative 2y equals negative x plus 6. I got to divide, divide by that negative 2, get rid of it. Now, what do you notice about this pink equation and this purple equation? The y intercepts are different this time, aren't they? Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plot my little y intercept. But what do you notice about those slopes? Those slopes are exactly the same, which means I'm gonna rise up and run the same amount when the slopes are the same. The lines are parallel. Somebody should have taught you that, okay? And when lines are parallel, they never touch. So if the whole point of this lesson is for us to find where the lines touch, but these two lines are parallel because the slopes are the same and they're never gonna touch, what's my answer? So glad you asked. No solution. That's the lesson in a nutshell, y'all. Okay, what am I gonna tell you to do? I'm gonna tell you to take a separate sheet of paper, though not the one that you were just writing on. I know some of y'all wasn't really writing. Okay, and then I'm going to tell you to go back through this video and do the same questions over again without looking at your notes and see how much you remembered and how much you retained. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.